Hi everyone, I'm Teresa, and this is week six that I'm in school, and this is day four in week six that I'm in school. And I would do chapter eight of Mila and Vidaya dances off last week, but today I'll read you chapter nine. Chapter nine, salsa inside and out. If Wanda's body was busy before Donna broke her leg, it was even busier now. She came to the next class out of breath, carrying grocery bags. Phew, she said. I've been all over the place making calls and running errands. I didn't have time for lunch. Let's start off with some salsa. Yes, said Alex. That's our favorite dance, said Alexander, clapping. The twins could not contain themselves. Alex turned on the music. Within seconds, Alex and Alexandra are dancing back and forth, back and forth. We learned when we were little from watching our mom and dad, said Alex. They taught us this new step just last week. Alexandra whirled away from Alex. Then he twirled her back while switching hands at the same time. This is salsa and chips. The salsa bottle saying salsa, salsa. And these are nachos. Um, and this is the whole class um, with Wanda in the dance studio. And behind, there's a mirror that says dance. said Willow. Can you show us how to dance like that? The twins took turns showing the class the basic salsa step. They walked forward while counting one, two, three, and backward while counting five, six, seven. Your feet don't move on four or eight, said Alex, so we don't really count them. It's more like a pause, said Alexandra. Can, you can count in your head if you want. Eight steps, said Wanda. My salsa takes three easy steps. Three steps, said Alex. Cool, said Alexandra. Show us. Wanda reached into the grocery bag, pulled out a big jar of salsa, and said, Step one, open the jar. Step two, pour salsa into a bowl. Step three, open a bag of chips. This is three paws. And this is a salsa container. And this is the steps to a salsa dance, which are beat, start. One, left foot forward. Two, shift way to back foot. Three, left foot back. Four, pause. Five, right foot back. Six, shift way to front foot. Seven, right foot forward, eight, pause. And this is steps to eat salsa. Steps to eat salsa. One, open the jar. Two, pour salsa into a bowl. Three, open a bag of chips. These are actually toy chia chips. Wanda grabbed a chip, scooped up some salsa and said, I am so busy that I missed lunch today. Dig it. Thanks, Aunt Wanda, said Amelia Bedelia, helping herself to the surprise treat. The other dancers dug in too. Alex grabbed Amelia Bedelia's hand. I'll show you the famous double salsa, he said. As he walked forward, he counted one, two, three. Then he took a chip and scooped up some salsa. Scoop. As he walked backwards, he counted five, six, seven. Then he popped the chip in his mouth. Crunch. Soon the entire class was doing the famous double salsa. Hey, said Amelia Bedelia, crunching a chip. I'm doing salsa inside and out. Wanda laughed loudest of all until she noticed that an elderly couple had stopped outside on the sidewalk. They were staring in the window 
with their hands cupped on the glass around their faces. No one knew how long they had been standing there. Gosh, said Wanda, I hope we weren't too loud. Are anyone's grandparents coming today? asked Willa. Everyone took their heads. No. Were the kids make were the kids making too much noise? asked Wanda, opening the door and poking her head out. Not at all, said the woman. This is the tortilla chips and salsa. These are hot peppers. These are more to tortilla chips. These are tomatoes. And these are more tortilla chips. And this is Alex popping a tortilla chip with salsa into his mouth. We truly enjoyed it, said the man. My name is Bob Quinn, and this is my wife, Lewis. Before we retired, explained Lewis, we ran a school for ball and dancing, so we love seeing these kids dance. Bring back lots of memories for us, said Bob. Come inside, come inside, said Wanda as she held the door open for them. Meet the kids and try some salsa, eating or dancing. We taught lots of folks how to dance in our day said Lewis. Is there any chance you'd give us a demonstration? asked Wanda. We'd love to do that, said Bob. Honey, let's rumba. Bob and Lewis walked slowly like Amelia Bedelia's grandparents. But once they joined hands and began to dance, they were graceful and fast. They glided off over the floor, matching each other's each other's step for step, turn for turn. Whenever Bob twirled Lewis away under his arm, she would come spinning back again. This is Lewis and Bob's feet. And this is Aunt Wanda talking to um, Lewis and Bob. Honk, honk, honk! Bob yanked Lewis up. That's our bus. We're late, he said. Honk, honk! The spell cast by the Quinn's dancing was shattered and Wanda sprang into action. She stalked out of the studio and approached the bus parked right outside. Hey lady, yelled the driver. Have you seen an older couple? Keep your shirt on, pal, said Wanda. They'll be out in a minute. I mean, I could see that the driver was wearing a jacket as well as a shirt, and from the look on his face, he wasn't her Aunt Wanda's pal. Here comes trouble, she said to Gracie. You know, said Bob, we love to visit again. Just let us know when your next show is. We'll bring a busload of fossils just like us to watch you perform. This is Lewis and Bond dancing with the class watching and Aunt Wanda. This is Aunt Wanda talking to the bus driver. And this is his honk, the bus driver's honking the horn. And this is something that says honk, honk, honk. That's also the bus driver honking the horn. When Wanda came back from helping the Quinns into the bus, Amelia Bedelia noticed that she had a faraway look in her eyes. A few times Amelia Bedelia had seen that look before. Life had gotten a bit crazier. Hmm, why not, said Wanda under her breath. I love fossils, said Mila and Bedelia to Gracie. This is Amelia, Bedel Amelia Bedelia looking in Aunt Wanda's eyes. And these are fossils that say 500 
521 million years old. That's how old those fossils were. Okay, bye everyone. We'll meet you chapter 10 tomorrow.